Hey everyone, it's Erin. Um, it is my 11th week post-op video and um, I had a two pound loss this past week, which is pretty darn good. Um, I am down 53 pounds total since my initial consult in January and 37 pounds since surgery. So, um, not too bad. I am looking forward to the 40 pound mark and making it into the 260s because right now I am 272. So 260s aren't that far off. Hopefully next week I can make some serious headway into there. Um, but I thought I would talk today about some products that I have grown to like and or love. Um, since surgery and I, I found these videos um, pre-op were very helpful and even some that I've watched since having the surgery I've gotten some pretty good ideas you know um, on different products that kind of thing so um, most of the stuff that I have um, are like kitchen and food related and so I brought my little grocery bag up to my uh, bedroom carrying all my products. So um, let's see, since protein is such a huge issue, uh, post-op, uh, I do a lot of protein shakes. Um, I make my own and there is a particular brand that is prepackaged that I purchase. And that is, and I apologize, this isn't a fresh container. Um, I have drink out of, I have, I've drank out of this one. I've run out as of yesterday, so I have to run to the store and get more of these, because these are a staple. Um, it is EAS Advantage Carb Control, um, 17 grams of protein, two net carbs, excuse me, and 110 calories per serving, and this is one serving. And I like the chocolate. Um, my mom has gotten vanilla and strawberry and I guess she likes both of those I, I I just I'm I like chocolate I haven't tried the others I've been satisfied with this so I recommend it a case of four at Walmart around here runs about 422 which isn't bad um, and I usually start my day off with one of these so um, if I do though decide to make a protein shake I've gotten protein powder from GNC. This is 100% whey protein and this is chocolate and then I have a big thing um, of vanilla. And what I've done, um, the recipe that I like, I, you know I'm a creature I guess of habit as I'm, I'm sure most of us are, but what I found is that if I like a recipe, I'm going to stick to it, and I usually do that until I get sick of it. My recipe for really good protein shakes, I use the whey powder from GNC, and I don't know if any of you are familiar, I'm sure many of you are familiar with Massage Goddess, and on one of her videos, um, she got a Hamilton Beach little mini uh, blender, and it's like got, I want to say, 24 ounces. It's just tiny. It's little and you can carry it and it's got a lid that you can even drink out of. It's kind of like a sippy. Um, and it was real cheap. It was under $20 at Walmart. I have one of those. I didn't feel like dragging that up to my room. Anywho, I use skim milk, eight ounces of skim milk, a half of um, a serving of the chocolate protein and a half a serving of the um, vanilla. And then I put that in with the milk and then I add Swiss Mocha Maxwell House International Coffee is sugar free decaffeinated. I add probably a tablespoon of this and it's got 30 calories and two carbs and one and one third tablespoon, so not bad. I add that and then I add oh probably a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And I mix it up and I add some ice and oh my goodness, it is to die for. It is so good. I highly recommend it. Um, I made some for my best friend and she really liked it too. So I highly recommend it. Um, 
I know getting all of your protein grams is can be difficult. I know for me it can. Um, I do, you know, I get my protein shakes. Usually I do one to two a day. Um, the days I work out, after my workout, I use the Super Whey protein shots. This is a fruit punch flavor and it's got 26 grams of protein and about 110 calories. Um, I get my, I've gotten this at Walmart and then Target has one um, that's similar and it's grape flavored. I've, these, I prefer these, the ones from Target and Walmart that are like the 26 grams. I, when, initially right after surgery I got some from GNC and I think they had like 40 grams of protein. Those were so gross. I could barely tolerate them. Um, it was just nasty, but these, I refrigerate them, I keep them cool. And like I said, after I work out, I'll have one. Or maybe if I'm struggling with my protein for a day, I'll do that. Um, I've had some questions regarding my vitamins. Centrum, um, chewables. I've got Dora, SpongeBob, and Tommy from Rugrats. So that's, you know, I do this twice a day. And um, this is from Walmart. It's a B-complex sublingual liquid and it's got 20,000 um, percent of your daily value for your B12, um, which is good. And it's just a little, you shake it up, it's a little dropper, it's orange. I actually spilled some on my shirt today. I was not very happy. And you put it under your tongue, you wait 30 seconds, you drink, swallow it. I swig some water, I chase it with some water. And I call it good. Um, I do not know what my vitamin levels are. And uh, Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday, I uh, went and had my first test. Tests. I'm not talking right. Excuse me. I went Wednesday and had my blood taken to do the to check my uh, malabsorption uh, levels for all my vitamins and minerals and all of that stuff. And they took 11 vials of blood. It was a lot. And the woman there, I think, was really a bit perturbed. I mean, she was nice, but she's like, we're just going to bleed you dry. And I'm like, great. Um, it wasn't that bad. Uh, the thing that stunk was that you have to fast. So, you know, I was afraid that I'd be a little woozy, but I did okay. I brought my protein shake with me. So as soon as I was done, uh, I had it. Um, but I haven't gotten the results. So... You know, um, my vitamin intake may change. I have calcium chews that I take. I also take um, tablets, calcium tablets, vitamin C chewables, biotin, um, and I think that's it. And you know, I, I the Centrum has like 100% iron, but if my iron's low, I'm, I'm it's just going to have to be adjusted depending on where I'm at. Uh, so. Oh, oh, and most importantly, water. I have a big reusable water bottle and it can carry 32 ounces. Um, I fill this up in the morning when I wake up, I throw it in the freezer and about an hour or so later when I go to work, I take it out and I usually drink 32 ounces before lunch. I refill it at lunchtime and drink the rest the half after, you know, the rest of my afternoon. Um, so that's getting my 64 ounces. That doesn't seem to be enough for me. Um, I probably drink anywhere between 90 to maybe 120 ounces of water a day. That's when I feel the best um, and find that I lose, you know, the optimal amount of weight is when I, my protein is good and my water intake is good. So, and I, I, I prefer plain water to like any of the crystal lights. I know a lot of people really like the crystal light. I don't like the chemical taste. Um, I would rather drink water and maybe some juice. Um, and I rarely have juice. But I guess um, that's really it. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. Um, and I just wanted to let everyone know that had you know, expressed concerns and well wishes for my daughter. Her surgery went really well. That was on Friday. Um, she had a polynidal cyst, which is a cyst right above your butt, um, kind of by your tailbone. Uh, the incision is not bad at all. Uh, if you look online, you can really see some scary, like, gaping 
wounds and it's really small and very minimal packing and it looks like her summer isn't ruined so my 14 year old daughter is very happy because you know that's huge for a 14 year old the summer and friends and get togethers um, so she's doing great and thank you everybody for all of your uh, well wishes and thoughts and prayers I really appreciate it um, hope all of you are doing really really great and enjoying your summer so far and we will chat soon thanks bye